Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 21st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. So it has really uh, taken off after basically Fed coming out with the uh, news that they're most likely going to increase interest rates early and then the inflation fear and so on and so on. We have seen these rallies before and uh, markets kind of love these uh, fear games because it moves the market. The fear of news and the good news basically is what drives the market back and forward. And this just gives uh, people opportunity to enter uh, for better positions. Um, at this current stage, we are trading way above the uh, um, top of the bullish band. So we are significantly overstretched and um, indication that people are just pouring money into this. We are also significantly overbought and um, we are approaching the 300 moving average up here at the 93. So this could continue, depends on how long the inflation news can last. It usually gets baked into the market like the coronavirus got baked into the market and at some point it will just become immune people will get tired of hearing inflation and people will just say okay yes that's old news and uh, what's next so we could go up towards the uh, 300 moving average up here at the 93 that looks like where we are going uh, due to the fact that we're so overstretched we could see a pullback towards the 200 moving average before going to this level um other currency pairs as well are significantly overstretched due to the fact that the US dollar has appreciated this fast uh, in the last week and a half. And uh, yes, this has also taken a toll on most uh, commodities and precious metals as we'll look at, for example, gold and so on. So let's look at oil first. Yes, so oil has been fairly resistant. Um, uh, Usually oil falls apart when the US dollar appreciates, and it has not really done that. We did see a pullback on, on Wednesday and Thursday, and then kind of rallied back on, on Friday. We got close to the 20 exponential, but uh, that seemed to be very supportive. So around the area of $70 or down towards the cent and $69, that should be quite a lot of support in this area. So if we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, still bullish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is uh, still is kind of flat, and the RSI is flat as well. Target here will most likely be 75. If we break below the 20 exponential, then the 50 comes into play at the 65.5. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas really tumbled uh, last week, um, but found support kind of around the previous highs here. You can see right there is where we found support. At 3.15 is where we found support. We also have the 20 exponential right underneath. So it could mean that we could rally from here and head towards the 3.5. Um, this market is um, quite unusual for the time of the year. But uh, this is... Um, based on technical analysis and uh, and uh, as we can see that we are basically bouncing off uh, the bottom of the bullish band we're bouncing off the middle of the bullish band and also the 20 exponential moving average and as long as that is the case then this will just continue going higher it will eventually get overstretched like we saw here and then we'll have these pullbacks as we also saw here and also here and so on so that is um, fairly uh, predictable where this market goes when when it gets this overstretched to the upside and also to the downside. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at copper. So copper has completely turned around. It is, um, first of all, significantly overstretched and significantly oversold. So Pullbacks at this point are kind of expected. Whether or not they happen on Monday and Tuesday, um, this just can't continue forever, this pullback. We had a massive rally here. Yes, that we did. But 
still these pullbacks are from roughly 4.86 all the way down to where we are now at 4.4.12 uh, uh, that usually needs a pullback before going lower it looks like we're going back to four um, which was previous support here so rally towards the 20 exponential and then towards the four level that could be something that we'll see if you look at technical English, otherwise, MACD is very bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is still in bearish territory, but looks like it's turning around here. And that could be a sign that we are going to see this rally before going further to the downside. We're still in uptrend. Um, it's not until we basically break the 200 moving average and have a crossing of the 50 and so on, and that we are very, very far off of seeing. So... If you look at the weekly chart for copper, there was a massive warning here that we have a crossing of the MACD in the weekly chart, and uh, that usually is not a very good sign. And this was a horrible week for the copper market. So let's look at gold, which wasn't really better. So gold went from the highs here of 1916 all the way down to 1763. So Yes, talk about a fall from, from for this market. This was absolutely horrible for gold. So if you look at Fibonacci retracement, you can see that we are right underneath the 61.8. So this is significantly overstretched and oversold. And um, we it's going to be interesting whether or not we manage to get above this Fibonacci retracement yet again. And that could mean that we will go back towards the 50 moving average up at 1800, give or take. Technically, we can see that RSI significantly oversold. We're significantly overstretched here in the in the bullish band. And technical negatives are very bearish. But the uh, CGI is turning around here. So you can see what happened here when it turned around and swelled here. Usually we see a rally for uh, a few days as this is significantly over, overstretched and oversold. So rallies could be up towards 1800 and the 50 moving average at 1830. So let's look at silver. Silver also took a nosedive towards the 200 moving average. And uh, yes, we are on the edge of being oversold. We are significantly overstretched and the 200 moving average. So it's going to be interesting whether or not the 200 moving average holds. If it holds, then we could rally up towards the 50 uh, up at the uh, 26.97, 95. Um, if we break below the 200 moving average, we could see 25 and then the 200, 300 moving average at the 323. Technically, English, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CGI is still bearish, but it is turning around, and usually that means that it will have a short time rally. So let's look at platinum. So platinum also took a nosedive, and uh, it's kind of what happens when the US dollar starts appreciating, and these, uh, um, these metals have been rallying for technically forever. So we are trading at uh, well below 1100 at uh, 1043 at this point. And at the uh, Friday session, it closed at the very, very bottom. We are significantly over, uh, oversold and significantly overstretched and approaching the 300 moving average down here at one uh, at 1000. So that should offer massive amount of support, whether or not the question is whether or not we manage to get to that point before rallying to the upside. Technical indicators otherwise are very bearish indeed. So let's go pallium. So pallium, yes, talk about a fall. Um, on Thursday was an absolute horrible fall for pallium. Did manage to rally up towards uh, 25,686 and then continue its fall. We're at uh, 20, 23 in the RSI, significantly oversold and significantly overstretched. And a rally at this point could be expected. I haven't seen a fall like this basically since uh, last year in the, in the midst of the coronavirus, where we fell from roughly 24.83 all the way down towards uh, 13.69. So at this moment, 300 moving average is down here at 23, 60, uh, 33. So that should offer massive support. And um, at this point, could see a pullback as we are so overstretched and oversold. 
So let's look at uh, aluminium. So aluminium did not fall as far as the other other metals have been falling, like uh, like uh, like platinum and uh, and pallium. We did fall towards uh, on Thursday down towards twenty three thirty six, and then rallied and then fell again. So at this point, well, as long as we don't don't break below twenty three zero zero seven, then we're that is going to be act as support. Um, if we break below above the twenty exponential, then we could head back towards the twenty twenty four ninety seven. Technical indicators they are very bearish at this point, but is to be seen whether or not we break down from here, or we continue with this uptrend. We're still in an uptrend, and um, yes, it is a minor pullback in this market. So let's look at nickel. So nickel, um, nothing really happened here. It was on, on Tuesday where we had this massive fall and then we continued underneath the 50 moving average. But uh, it looked like it stabilized right underneath the 50 moving average. We have the 200 moving average right here. And we know basically in the past that the 200 moving average has been a massive support for this market. So if we drop towards the 200 at 16,662, then we'll probably find support there. Technical leaders otherwise are very bearish and rally above the 20 exponential that could open the door back towards the previous high, 18,450. So let's look at sugar. So sugar market also fell uh, below uh, the 50 moving average and trading at 0 0.164032. Technical indicators are very bearish indeed. We are approaching oversold conditions and we are a little bit overstretched here in the bullish band. So this could continue, but the 200 moving average, as we saw here, when we got close to that, offered massive support um, uh, in the past. So 0 0.1543, that it probably will be the target here uh, if we don't manage to break above the 20 exponential in the next few trading days. So let's look at cotton. So cotton, nothing really happening here. Tried to rally up towards the 50 moving average, broke down, and it was a little bit in the positive. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, the casting is bearish, the CCI is still in bullish territory, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. Break below the 50 moving average, that opens the door back to these previous highs, and break below here, then opens the door to the bottom of the bullish band at 0 0.81. So let's look at Kokoa. So same thing here. We're still trading in this uh, this square. The highs of roughly twenty five forty five and the lows of uh, twenty three eighteen, and we're approaching the previous lows here. If we break below that, then we can see the drop towards uh, twenty two forty forty one and then towards the twenty eighty eighty seven. Technical indicators are favoring the downside at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. So it had a really nice rally up towards the middle of the bullish band and then got rejected. And uh, that kind of says that uh, we probably have more back and forward for the near future. If we break below the 200 moving average, then we have the 300 moving average down here, give or take at 1600. Otherwise, break about the 50, then we could see this go back towards the upper height. But at the moment, it's more likely that we'll go back and forward down towards the 200 moving average at 633, and then the middle of the bullish band at give or take 670. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, the classic is flat, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.